This audio was brought to you by listeners like you. Learn more after the audio. And here is your room, sweetheart. This is where you'll be staying until we can teach you how to care for yourself. Over in this corner, we have a wardrobe and closet. I know there aren't any clothes in there right now, but that's the reason we took your measurements upon arrival. I'm actually a seamster when I'm not checking in on everyone. Speaking of, are there any colors or patterns you prefer? Sweetie, it's all right for you to talk to me. I know that you're old. Ugh. Master. Wouldn't let you speak to anyone. But they're not around anymore. Owning humans has been illegal since the end of the war. So they should have set you free far sooner. Well... You shouldn't have been enslaved in the first place. But you know what I mean. The important thing is that you are a free person now. And we are here to make sure that you're treated as such. So please, feel free to say what you're thinking. Ah, such a shy voice. Thank you for telling me, sweetheart. I'll be sure to weave some wonderful new clothes for you. This door over here leads to the bathroom. It has everything you need. A toilet, sink, wash tub, etc. If you ever run out of soap, clean towels, or anything else, just let the staff know. In this corner is your desk. You can use it if you want to write, read, draw, or even just sit and relax. It's underneath the window, too, so you'll be able to let in fresh air and sunlight whenever you desire. And lastly, over here is your bed. It's nice and soft, so I hope you'll be comfy. And in case you didn't notice, there is a string of silk attached to the bed frame. Every room has one, and they're all connected to my web. If you ever need anything, just pluck the string. I'm able to feel the vibrations through my web, and I'll come right away. We have a little code that we use here. Pluck the string once to ask for help. Pluck it twice to cancel your request, and pluck it as much as possible. If there's an emergency, does that make sense? Okay then, let us practice. How many times should you pluck the string if there's an emergency? Good job. How many times should you pluck if you need help, but it's not an emergency? Good. And what should you do if you asked for help, but no longer need it? Perfect. I think you're going to do just fine here. Do you have any more questions for me? All right. If anything comes to mind, you 
know what to do. Now then, I recommend you take a bath and get some shut-eye. It's rather late and I'm sure you'd love to feel clean again. I'll come check on you tomorrow morning, all right. Good night, sweetie. What can I help you with, sweetheart? You don't know how to bathe? I can't believe it. I knew your old master was cruel, but not even teaching you how to wash is another level of neglect. No, no, I'm not upset with you, sweetie. I apologize if I gave off that impression. I am more than happy to teach you. Come with me. The first step to drawing a bath is to plug the drain. After that, we turn the knob to start the water. The left knob is for hot water, and the right knob is for cold water. Go ahead and feel it. Let me know if the temperature is all right. Then we can turn the knob back a little bit. Try it again. Is that better? Good. Now, I'll put in a little bit of soap. This will help you get all that dirt off your skin. Plus, it smells very nice. Alright, the next step is for you to get in. I understand that it's none of my business to see your body, so I'm going to step out of the room. Once the tub is full and you're laying inside, turn this knob all the way back. That will stop the water and let me know that you're ready for me to come in. Okay? Don't worry, the suds from the soap will cover your body, so I won't be seeing anything. Alright, I'll see you in a minute, sweetie. Can I open my eyes? All right. How does it feel? I'm glad you like it. Hey, there's no reason to be nervous, sweetheart. It's okay to be shy. And I understand that you're not exactly used to positive experiences with our kind. Plus, you're in a compromising position, but I promise I will take things slow for you. Thank you for trusting me. Now that you're in the bath, I'm going to show you how to wash your hair. The first step is for you to lean your head back, so I can pour water over the top of your head. Is that okay? I'll tell you what, why don't I pour water on your hair just once, and if you don't like it, then I'll stop and we can wash your hair another night. Would that be all right? You're being so brave right now. I'm really proud of you. Now then, lean your head back for me. How did that feel?
I'm happy. It wasn't too bad. I need to do this just a few more times to get your hair fully wet. Is that all right? Wonderful. The next step is for me to scrub your scalp. Again, I'm just going to do it just once to start with. If you don't like it, we can stop. Are you ready? How was that? I'm glad. Is it okay if I keep going? Great. Notice how my nails are just lightly pressing into your scalp. And this is how you scrub properly. Aw, oh, you look like you're enjoying this. Oh, sweetie, you probably haven't had anyone take care of you like this before, have you? I'm sorry, but I promise that you'll be cared for from now on. We aren't going to let anyone hurt you ever again. Hmm, what was that, sweetheart? No, it's okay. You're allowed to ask questions here. Well, I suppose I started working here because I've always liked taking care of things. I had a bunch of pet frogs throughout my childhood, so I'm used to looking after those who can't look after themselves. Yes, I love frogs. I actually still have some today. Would you like me to tell you about them? Well, my oldest frog is named Robert. He's a dotted humming frog. And a bit of a rascal. He likes to bully my other frogs sometimes by stealing their food or hopping on top of them. <laughs> Otherwise, he's a really relaxed boy. He loves being held. My middle child is a Tungara frog named Lily. She's very energetic, always hopping around, looking for some new adventure to go on. She's also the reason I need to keep a lid on their terrarium. One time, she managed to just barely jump out, and I spent a full day chasing her around. Luckily, she got trapped in one of my webs, and that still meant I had to dig her out and re-spin it. I was annoyed at the time, but it's pretty funny looking back. The last frog I have is Gerald, another Tungara frog. He's actually in a mating pair with Lily, meaning I have a bunch of little tadpoles on the way. Although, I think I'm more excited about them than Gerald is. He's kind of wrinkly and has a very deep croak, so I like to call him a grumpy old man even though he's the youngest of my three. All right, I think I'm done scrubbing. Now I need to pour some water on your head again to get all those suds and excess dirt out. Are you ready? There 
there you go. Your hair is all clean now. How are you feeling? That's fantastic. Oh, are you getting tired, sweetie? That's okay. You've had a very long and eventful day. I understand. I'll go ahead and step out of the bathroom again so you can get out of the tub. There's a towel hanging up here you can wrap yourself in. Just knock on the door when you're ready for me to come back. And don't forget to pull out the drain stopper. All wrapped up. Good. Now we can finish the last step of your hair care. Well, no, it doesn't quite end at just washing it. We have to comb it too. Hey, don't worry, sweetie. Just like before, I'll only brush your hair once. If you don't like the sensation, then we can stop. All right. Thank you for trusting me, sweetheart. Here I go. What do you think? Is it all right if I keep going? Good. Hold your head still for me. It's best to brush your hair while it's wet, so that the tangles will come undone easier. Your face really lit up while I was talking about my pets. Do you like frogs? If you'd like, I can introduce you to them tomorrow. How does that sound? I'm glad you're excited. It's nice when I have someone I can talk about my frogs with. A lot of people get grossed out by them. I don't know why. I guess some people just see them as slimy, but they really aren't. Sure, their skin is moist, but it's not like they're covered in goop all the time. Wow. Some of this hair is very knotted. I'm having a tough time straightening it out. No, 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 it's not your fault. It's just that nobody taught you how to take care of yourself properly, that's all. Okay. I think your head will start to hurt if I try to untangle these knots any further. Yes, I can still help you with them. If you'd like, I can cut your hair. That way we can get the knots out without the pain. Don't worry. I'll make sure to give you an even cut. If you're uncomfortable, we don't have to do this tonight. We can wait until you feel safer around me. Are you sure? All right, now tell me, do you prefer your hair long, or do you want me to cut it shorter? Okay, I'll do my best. Are you ready? Thank you for being so brave today. I know you went through a lot of stress and a lot of new experiences, but you handled them beautifully. I'm very, very proud of you. Oh, why are you tearing up? It's alright, sweetheart. It's okay. You can cry if you want to. Nobody's going to hurt you here. You're perfectly safe. That's right. It's all okay. We're going to take care of you and teach you how to take care of yourself. 
There's nothing to worry about anymore. There, there. Doesn't crying make you feel so much better once you're done? Good. I know that when I'm overwhelmed, sometimes a good cry is the best thing for me. And done. My, my. You clean up nicely, don't you, sweetheart? I'm happy you like your new haircut. I think you look very cute. Now then, you should be getting to bed. I'll wait outside the door so you can put your clothes back on. There you are. How are you feeling? That's great. You deserve to feel good. Now let's get you to bed. Is it alright if I tuck you in? Because I want you to feel snug and safe tonight. I'm sure it's been a while since your last good sleep. Yes, just lay down. How do you feel? Perfect. Good night, sweetheart. I'll see you in the... What can I help you with? Oh, of course I can hold your hand. I'll stay right by your side until you fall asleep. Sleep tight, sweetie. I'm so, so proud of you. A big thank you to the apostles listed on screen, whether they support through Patreon, YouTube memberships, or both. If you would also like to support this channel, there is a link to the Patreon in the description, and the join button for the YouTube membership should be next to the channel name. Though, even a like or a subscribe is more than enough. Thank you again and I hope to see you next time.